Attack on Titan, ten times Reiner helped Eren. Before becoming Eren's enemy, Reiner helped the Attack on Titan protagonist become a powerful confident soldier. Throughout Attack on Titan The hit anime series that has taken the world by storm, Reiner Braun wears many faces. Both figuratively and literally, Reiner's face has changed from that of a strapping and hopeful young warrior candidate to an embittered and mentally exhausted Titan warrior. Hajime Isayama has admitted that he favors Reiner over his other characters. This could either be because Reiner plays the role of hero better than Eren, or because Isayama likes the emotional depth that Reiner displays. Either way, Reiner has filled just about every role possible in Aoti, which includes being Eren's ally and mentor for a time. Warning, this article contains spoilers from the Attack on Titan manga. 10. Reiner Bertholdt helped Eren master his ODM gear during cadet training. Before Reiner and Bertholdt outed themselves as double agents, fans knew them as two normal cadets with above-average skill. Considering the training they went through to become warriors, it was no surprise that they quickly rose to the top of the 104th, Thanks to their above-average skills, Aaron managed to overcome his own shortcomings and rise to the top of the 104th Cadet Corps as well. Dedicated fans will remember that it was Reiner and Bertholdt who helped Aaron train with his ODM gear after official training hours. 9. Reiner taught Aaron how to motivate himself through scout training. By working his way up the ranks of the Eldian Warrior candidates, Reiner learned something about what it took to stay motivated. With this experience, he made easy work of the cadet training that Aaron struggled with. During a particularly difficult training, Aaron collapsed on the ground after failing to keep up with his peers flying through the trees with their ODM gear. Reiner stopped to help Aaron up and gave him a small piece of advice. He said, just do what you gotta do. That's all we can do. It may not be the soundest advice, but it certainly helped Aaron. 8. Reiner invited Aaron back to his hometown. While many would say that Aaron invaded Marley and attacked it from the inside, it could also be said that he was invited to Marley. In Season 2 Episode 6 of the Attack on Titan anime, Reiner offers Aaron an invitation back to his homeland. Viewers now know that Reiner's homeland is Marley, which means that Reiner's invitation offers Eren the right to visit the city that he would eventually lay waste to. Eren even makes sure to visit Reiner when he makes the trip overseas. 7. Reiner brought Eren into contact with the Smiling Titan. Eren's path toward mastering his Titan abilities was a long and arduous one. In fact, if it weren't for Reiner's help, Eren may have never learned to push his Titan abilities to their limit. This is particularly true regarding Eren's ability to tap into the power of the founding Titan. Thanks to Reiner, Eren was able to taste the power of the founding Titan by making physical contact with Dina Fritz. Without Reiner's half baked plan to abduct Eren atop Wall Maria, Eren may have never learned to tap into the coordinate by making contact with Royal Eldian blood. 6. Reiner stepped aside so that Eren could get revenge on Marley. After inviting the attack Titan into his hometown, Reiner stood aside while Eren shifted into Titan form and destroyed the city he grew up in. Many fans gave Reiner a pass in this moment. The aged warrior's mental health had been crippled by war, and rather than fight, he valiantly dedicated his efforts to keeping Falco safe. Still, Reiner was Marley's best chance at stopping Eren in Marley, and yet he stood on the sideline as if to justify Eren's intentions. 5. Reiner pushed Eren to take his combat training seriously. During Reiner and Eren's time training as cadets on the island of Parody, the two worked together to become stronger warriors. As sad as it sounds, Reiner and Eren make up the truest set of peers in the attack on Titan mythos. While the majority of other cadets were playing soldier, 
Reiner helped Aaron learn a few fundamental hand-to-hand -hand combat tricks before setting up a battle between Aaron and Annie. While this may not seem like much, Reiner was setting the groundwork for Aaron to master hand-to-hand -hand combat as both a soldier and a titan. 4. Reiner set Aaron on a path that connected freedom with war by attacking Shiganshina. Aaron always dreamed of seeking out his own sense of freedom outside of the walls by joining the Survey Corps. But he lacked the drive to do so until Reiner and Bertholdt attacked Shiganshina. After watching his mom be devoured by a pure titan, Aaron devoted his entire life to war. As far as he could see it, the power to kill a titan would lead him toward freedom. This idea was clearly a bit off the mark but it pushed Aaron into a pattern of growth and education that many never achieve. 3. Reiner forced Aaron to fight intelligently as a titan. Reiner did more than just teach Aaron a few hand-to-hand -hand combat skills while working with the angry protagonist as cadets. By offering Aaron the chance to test his might against Annie, Reiner set the stage for the attack titan to begin assessing his enemies in an intelligent manner. Annie's combat style is built around her smaller and more agile frame. Thanks to their sparring match, Aaron learned to use his brain while fighting rather than simply relying on his strength. This pushed his titan shifting ability up into the realm of the other intelligent titan shift. 2. Reiner guided Aaron, Armin, Mikasa to the sea. If it weren't for the warrior unit's antics throughout the entire AOD anime, Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa would have taken a much longer time to lay their eyes on the sea. In fact, if Reiner and Bertholdt hadn't tore down the walls of Shiganshina in Season 1, the main cast of Attack on Titan might never have made it to the edge of parody. 1. He wrestled with the source of all living matter to protect Aaron. Only manga readers will be able to make sense of the beast known as the source of all living matter. After Eren's head was blown off at the end of Attack on Titan manga. Readers were introduced to an amoebus lifeform that may or may not have forced Eren's hand toward Omnicide. Though Eren couldn't avoid taking responsibility for his actions, Reiner still threw himself at the source of all living matter in order to protect Eren from the powerful creature. 